Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. The EA Sports broadcast team is fired up to bring you this one here tonight. Oh, got the momentum leading in this series. How important is it to hang on to it now? It's critical. You don't want to give it away. If you give it away, now you've gone backwards. You've got to yeah. try and fight to get it back. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Oh, and he somehow got a lip. He scores! Really good attack early for the road team. They've now got the early jump. The home team has to claw back into the game. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Olmst's got the game's first goal. That didn't take long. I think I blinked and they're already on the board. Somebody came ready to play. That first shift doesn't usually result in a goal. Moves it to Yemlin. Looking to set up offensively. Flips it up to net. Club save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone. So they Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Russians win it. Sends the pass over. Unleashes a cannon! The puck goes out of play, and we'll get a face-off on the heels of that save. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck in the slot! And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break. Knights want a big draw in their own end. Holmes is moving it along the wing. Feeds it to Knight. Holmes on the attack. And the intensity start. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Russians have extended the lead to two, and they can see the light at the end of the tunnel for the second period. They would love to get it into the intermission just like it is. They've done a really good job tonight. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Nice feed inside the offensive zone from the boards. Shuts him down. Oh, another consecutive stop. The Russians win the draw. Off the mask, and he keeps it out. I think he's all right, but really, like, who are we to say? We're standing here in a suit. I mean, he just took a puck flying that fast right in the face. I hope he's okay. Receives the pass. And a great save. If you're going to leave a rebound, it might as well be 30 feet away from the net. That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. Well, it's an opportunity for fans to stretch their legs here as the opening 20 minutes comes to an end and a chance for these players to catch their breath. The Russians backed up all that talk in the morning skate. They wanted to get off to a good start. They certainly have done just that, leading by a pair of goals. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. possession working the puck deep inside their own end referee signals penalty coming up wow. here with a delayed call scooped up along the wall by Knight extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench and play is finally halted here let's see what the call is 
Ray, it looks like he's getting tossed from the game here. Yeah, he's got the gate. He's headed, gonna head down between the benches into the locker room, and that'll be it for him tonight. Omsk's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Ufa's got a hold of it along the wall. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. A chance! Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Upa's got it in the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Olsk's looking to break out of their own end. Score! Short-handed! Man, does that pump your bench up, and you can imagine what the other guy's bench is like, flat as a pancake, giving up the shorty. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Upa's back to set a rice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Hangs onto the puck. Sends the pass over. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. He was totally locked in on that play. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Takes the feed. He scores! Put the special in special teams. Now, the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They moved the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Bad luck for the goalie. Great luck for the shooter here. This has stopped about 90%. Hey, you got to stop 100% of it because now it's in the cage. Olds has now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of course Simple. It is. Goes the puck. And there's the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Puts one on net, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Here's a chance to set up now. They sure are running out of gas here, James. This shift is endless. That's off a stick. And he makes the save. The Russians have it from their own end. Olsk's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Goalie with a stop. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Big open the, ice hit. Was it ever. He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our shoot to win contest where one lucky fan is to come from Snow Ice to try and win an exciting prize.
Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Russians haven't tested that goaltender really much at all. A low number of shots means very few scoring chances. They're lucky this game is close. We're still in the early stages of this period. Olsk's got a 3-1 lead. Knights won the draw here in the offensive zone. Big save. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick shot. Turns him away. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. One time blast. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. The Russians move to the offensive zone. Ufa's got the puck. Scoops the puck now. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Well, that escalated quickly. What? He's getting thrown from the game here. Game misconduct is the call. Yeah, he's going to feel pretty embarrassed as he's got to walk by his teammates. He's done wow. for tonight. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. And here's a shot! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Booming shot! And he stands tall in goal! Durgachev's won the draw. Tees it up from the point! Here's an offensive chance. Another stop by the goaltender. Delayed penalty coming up here. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Charging the call on the hit. Maybe a little too much aggression there. Yeah, he had it on a beeline right towards him. Does not turn, does not slow down. When he makes the hit, the referee's arm goes up immediately. Special teams back out onto the ice, and it's a five-on-three man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. Oh, the offensive players are licking their chops here. This is a long five on three. The potential to do damage is sitting right in front of them. Jabs the puck away. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Strong defensive effort. Moves it quickly over to Heavy Bullen. Stopped by the goaltender. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Plus save by the goalie. That was an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Stays with it. Here's a shot. And that one stopped. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Here's a short pass to Kuhlman. Takes a shot with the stop. Takes the pass. Great reflexes, another save. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Granlin. Hammers one. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. In deep. And a stick breaks that up. Takes the feed. Scores. Oh, what a shot of the one time of the foot home.
Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. Oaks is all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Here's a shot. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Here in the back half of this period, Oaks has got a three-goal lead. The Russians take possession off the faceoff. Larson's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Yakupov's been nabbed for tripping. Fishing around for the puck, he gets a stick into the player's feet, and this becomes an easy call. Ufa's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've settled too much for one shot. They've got to get into the front of the net, James, and find the rebound. Here's a blast. Big time stop there. Slides the puck over. 